Hey guys, guess who's back? <laughs> welcome to House of Virgo. This is Kelly. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is a channel strictly for Virgos only. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate as usual. Just take what fits. Leave the rest. Don't try to force fit anything. Uh, yeah, and if you want to get a personal reading, there is a link here in the chat right at the top or you can if the chat's over there's a link below the video just click that link and that will take you to my booking site and you can book same day if there's any availability all right you guys what is virgo's drama today what is going on for virgo i hope you guys are doing well wow i cannot believe it is november we are almost at the end of the year what the heck yeah <laughs> i'm just kidding i cannot even believe it it's it's just ridiculous all right let's see this year flew by so quickly okay eight of swords uh oh speaking of the year this is restrictions i don't know if you guys still have restrictions where you're living due to the pandemic some of you might be still experiencing that somewhere wherever you live let's see okay so we have the four of cups actually that came out in reverse let's honor that in the reverse okay the wheel of fortune five of swords in the reverse six of pentacles suspension the hanged man so far we have pisces and scorpio we have leo taurus and aquarius libra justice and the sun leo in the reverse bottom of the deck the hierophant who's being a rebel we have a rebel rebellious energy happening here this is taurus energy if you're connecting with a taurus maybe they're in rebel a rebel rebellious mode there's a rebel heart here uh okay hello madonna so mm, this is um an issue with authority this can be all about originality a refusal to conform to conventional expectations virgo some of you are kind of i just feel like maybe you're in this position now where you're like to hell with it i'm leaving i'm i'm just rebelling out of a situation a relationship a job um i'm rebelling from conforming to everyone's expectations of me you know, I'm going after my ninth cup. I don't care what anybody says. I'm doing me. I'm doing what I need to do for myself. This really does feel like your energy. I just feel like you're in effort mode. Okay. Some of you may feel like you've missed an opportunity. Okay. You, some of you feel like there was an opportunity missed. However, you refuse to allow that to be for you to be defeated right you're like okay so what i missed the opportunity i'm not done yet i'm not out of this i'm not down and i'm not out i may not have won the battle but i sure as hell i'm gonna win this war <laughs> so some of you got your your sass your moxie back okay you might have been dealing with the emperor in the reverse this is aries energy somebody who could have been very selfish all right some of you may be a little bit sad about the fact that something didn't work out due to somebody's selfishness. Okay, um, let's see. And look, you have the Hermit and the Seven of Wands. So some of you are like withdrawn and you're fighting your battles on your own, you're blocking, or you're not communicating, or you're not talking to anybody, and you're just like, right now, this is not happening. Right now, this is not gonna work for me. I'm doing what I need to do for myself. Okay. Um, Hold on, hold on a second, you guys. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I got a really important text that <clears throat> I had to answer. Okay. So, yeah, you guys are standing here at like, all right, now I've got some paths in front of me. Which path am I going to take? Which direction am I going to go? So I really like your energy right now. You're ready to manifest. You're burning down the house. <laughs> a 
the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the Emma Emma burn. Some of you are just like, let it burn to the ground. I'm starting over. I have the horizon is, is in front of me and I'm starting over. Gemini energy, Virgo, Aries, Taurus. Okay, maybe those are people that you were connecting with or you're currently connecting with at this time. But let's take a look and see what's going on with your person or whomever this person is. Some of you might not have a person. I'll do the singles after this. But if you have a past person, um, you know, don't, don't go in my comments and say I'm sick of hearing about the past person. Because guess what? Sometimes that shows up. And if you don't like it, click off the reading. Don't leave me a stupid comment like that. I understand. Like, I get it. But there's some people, this whole thing is, I'm not channeling just for you and specifically. There's other people here who are curious about their past person who do want to know. Maybe I'm just not for you. There's like 20,000 other tarot readers out there. So keep it moving. All right, let's take a look here. Love messages for your past person. Okay, they have flirt, honeymoon, and retreat. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, let's see. All right, so the center of the reading is the Six of Pentacles. So there is somebody here who I feel They want to give you, they want to give, they want to give. This person is, this, this person's like trapped in some kind of mental restriction situation right now. Okay. The eight of swords. I almost feel like they're kind of playing the victim card right now. Okay. I really do. I feel like somebody here is going to open up to you and they're going to flirt but they're also going to come towards you with this, yeah, you know, things have been really tough. And, um, you know, I've been having a really hard time lately. And uh, I've really missed you. You know, uh, I feel so all alone. And I, I just feel kind of stuck. And, like, I feel like I'm in prison. Or, uh, or maybe they really are in prison for some of you. You get some kind of message. There's flirting, right? But with it comes you know, this person having like these mental restrictions, or they just have these restrictions, like physical in place in their life at this time that they're not like, I feel like they're going to tell you about it. They're trapped in something. Yet the four of cups in the reverse is like, they have like a new kind of outlook here on your the relationship, like they're choosing a new path here, which is to come towards you. So I feel like you're going to get some flirty communication from this person okay wheel of fortune showing up here this is like uh oh i just heard this person saying i just i finally got a lucky break i finally got a lucky break a turning point it's, there's some something's changing here there's a shift change in this person's life but let me see the eight of swords oh okay i was stuck i was trapped in something i'm at peace now i'm healing i'm in a i'm in a better place i'm at rest um okay this is rest this is recovery what the heck is this person man you know what virgo you start rebelling and you're just like as soon as you make these major shifts in your life and you're just going complete, like you do a total 180. You don't do a 360 and turn back to them as a new person. You do a complete 80, 180, and you just bolt off in the other direction. And as soon as you start manifesting these new things and stuff's coming in for you, or you start making changes, what I see you doing here in November, then you've got somebody here who's like trying to flirt with you. Let's see. Yep, look, they just gave me the Ace of Cups. Where this person wasn't accepting your love in the past, now they are. Now they're open for it. Now they want it. Now they want to give it. Things have changed for them. Whatever they were going through in the past, whatever they were, they were self-sabotaging. They were sabotaging the connection, sabotaging the relationship, clarifying with the Four of Swords. This person is like a renewed person. 
they're renewed they're out of that energy all right whoop de do i know some of you are like whoop de freaking do let me see yep oh my god the star healing Aquarian energy healing renewal these are two renewal cards hope <laughs> initiating a new love offer with you a new start a new beginning might even be i'm ready for a baby i'm ready for a relationship i'm ready to get married to you virgo healing 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 so it all starts with flirtatious messages or flirting in your presence or being next to you or seeing you and giving off this you know these vibes you sense them you pick them up these vibes that they want to be with you or they want to connect with you trying to you want to be starting something you got to be starting something little mj little charm coming in trying to start something up here with you okay so as i said the six of pentacles is in the center of the reading now for some of you this could be somebody new okay this could be somebody new where you guys maybe you've been communicating for those of you You've been communicating and because of restrictions or whatever whatever restrictions they were on uh, there were on this person's side in their life they're freed up from them now okay and now they're ready to come in for some you could be meeting somebody i'm actually not going to do the singles because i feel like we're going to touch on all of it some of you could be meeting somebody coming in the month of november somebody brand spanking new because ace of cups is new okay a new love offer coming in where it's kind of like maybe you meet or you start talking you guys really can't get off get things off the ground very quickly because of whatever's going on in their life they have some things holding them back or they're tied up and they can't meet you right away but they want to and they're they they become ready at some point to move things forward but they're flirting with you the whole time okay so for those of you who are like single as a Pringle, you have nobody else, nothing else is going on. Um, I feel like there could be somebody new. It, like I said, the Ace of Cups, new love, new beginning starting. And it's just going to kind of go a little slow. Like you talk, you talk, like you exchange numbers or whatever, and then you're waiting a little bit. Or this person is like, okay, yeah, I got your number. Just give me a little time. I got a, like a project I have to finish or I have something going on right now that's keeping me tied up. I'm not going to be able to move forward right away, but can we do it for like the following weekend? That kind of energy, do you know what I mean? Which is very beautiful. And I feel like this is going to be a very beautiful new start for you guys. Okay, so it could be with an Aquarius. It could be with a Leo a Taurus or Scorpio okay new or your past person right so I kind of feel like this energy plays out here where you're rebelling and you're letting go of something from the past opening yourself up for something new okay opening yourself up to receive new you could be meeting with someone who is it could be a public figure or somewhat they could be globally well known or well known in the town they could be a politician this could be somebody who works in theater or in music, someone who's kind of like, quote unquote, a star. Um, I don't feel like a superstar, but kind of like a star um, for some, not for all. And for some of you, this is just someone who's got a very healing energy. This could be somebody who, hmm, I just heard like some kind of counselor. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, that's kind of weird, but, or someone who works in the hope and health field, mental health field, something along those lines. Okay, so for those who are singles or Pringle, that's your singles messages. It looks like a very beautiful new start with this person. I will tell you, some of you will meet this person. If you, um, some of you, okay. So I just heard you might meet them at a wedding if you're going to a wedding in November or some type of maybe somebody has a baby or there's like a celebratory type of I don't know like a shower or some kind of celebratory thing or a baptism or a wedding or um, a reception 
Uh, maybe you'll be a plus one for someone. You could also meet this person if you live anywhere near um, where there's gambling or betting. You could be, some of you might do like, I don't know, football betting or something and you meet them online. That could be it. You start up, strike up conversations, some flirtations start happening like on the computer with someone in some kind of group chat or something that you might be in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's leave that there. Okay. Because it, I will tell you, it looks like the start of something very beautiful. And those of you who are single, this is coming in because you are leaving something in the past. Like I said, burning down the house and starting over, rebuilding your life, manifesting brand new again. You're rebelling away from old notions, old ways of thinking, old patterns, something you were in before. Even if you've been out of it for a while, you guys are like taking some giant leaps. You, you're actually, some of you aren't even being thoughtful about this decision that you're making to just go for it. Some of you are just like, I'm just rebelling. <laughs> All right. So the energy of this person whom I feel like some of you are kind of got away from, this person is definitely coming through as being ready now. To give you what you want even with the five of swords in the reverse you guys it feels to me like this person's kind of like like i don't know if they got caught doing something if they did something they got caught at doing something um it could even just be along the lines of like um okay it's fair virgo you were right it's fair. I understand why you were upset with me or something along those lines. I did something I shouldn't have done. Um, but it kind of gives me a sense like there's peace after trouble. This person is no longer coming in with this special cutoff game that they were using on you where when things got tough or if you called them out on something, um, they would run. They would have like the stream cut off. Okay. Or if you told them something about themselves, or even if you just simply said you were unhappy in this relationship, and then they would just cut you off, that's over. This person has been suspended in air and trying to make the best of a bad situation and gaining new perspective. There's definitely going to be a connection around the holidays with this person. Look, there's communication coming in. I really feel like this person's in this position of, you know, with the Five of Swords in the reverse, it's like fair fighting. No more arguing, no more giving any problems or anything like that. Okay. So the Eight of Wands is 100% um, making quick changes. You're gonna, so for some of you, I mean, I feel like this person's like, laying their swords down, no longer fighting, coming towards you. It's going to be some holiday time spent together. Definitely coming in with the six of pentacles energy, exchanging gifts for some, the holidays, or connecting in a way like giving back reciprocity, being more generous towards you, offering some help with something. Let's see. Oh, wow. All right, if you were dealing with someone, like I said, who was the emperor in reverse, a very selfish type of figure, they have turned themselves up right, okay? Coming in with this leadership above board, someone you can count on. I don't feel like it's fake. It doesn't feel fake to me, okay? It doesn't. But I feel like this person is coming in... Um, like brand new, a brand new pair of shoes. I don't even know. I mean, I do know. And it, it feels to me like they're, they're coming in like with, well, I don't want to be so cliche and say what you were hoping for. Even if this is somebody new, whoever's coming in, the past person and the new person, they're coming in the upright. Coming in in the upright, they want to um, show you how they've improved. Let's get another, let me get a clarifying card for the emperor. Oh my gosh, P 
page of cups definitely communication you're getting an invite you're getting an invite for around the holidays spend some time together with this person look the hangman they want to reunite with you celebrate holiday time together the bliss of holiday time together so i know in like november we do have thanksgiving coming here in the u.s but then we you know it's the holiday season is what i feel like enjoying the bliss of holiday time together so from november into december oh you're getting a message from this person they want to see you they want to talk to you they want to spend time with you even if it's somebody new you've got you're going to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend throughout the holidays or somebody from the past coming in initiating this there's a new love start happening here okay so the death card is here walking away from the past endings and new beginnings big changes there's a rebirth and transformation happening here with this person oh yeah letting go of anxiety and stress no more overthinking i feel like this person was really they had to put an end to their anxieties okay it feels like to me they were <laughs> part of them is coming in because they're really f like fearful that they've lost you or they all right so the past person definitely fearful that you are gone and some of you are and some of you have got this new person who's like not going to put themselves in a position to lose you and they're aware of this okay so they're coming in with this like i gotta make changes i gotta like maybe they lost somebody else in the past and they've learned some kind of a lesson here and this person it feels like this it feels like i'm both honestly it feels like there's two people coming in here that know the value of relationships and you know when an opportunity is here they jump on it uh, this past person wants to bring this new opportunity and you've got somebody new here who also wants that but is aware that if they don't pursue this with you you will walk you will leave people in the dust like the roadrunner you'll just leave it awake a destruction you'll leave like a trail like uh -uh, i'm not waiting for anybody some of you have learned your lesson and that's what you're rebelling from you're holding your ground you're holding steady you're not going to stay not going to or not going to allow yourself to be in a position of extreme utter sadness for the rest of your life because of something that happened with somebody you're not going to allow yourself you refuse to be defeated you refuse to be defeated you get this hope back like okay well just because something's not working out here with somebody doesn't mean i have to like pick it apart try to get to the source of the problem with this person i'm not that f boy f girl whisperer you're just like okay you got stuff going on you had stuff going on i can't be here to be the doormat for you to walk on every time you need to wipe your feet somewhere you got to do something about this and for me i got to go in the other direction because it's like grasping at straws here you're like a drowning person grasping at straws you know it's you're not trying to really it's not sensible right so a lot of you have just you know you've come to with the ten of swords in the reverse you've come to this place where you're ready for a new start you're kind of some of you are just like okay i forgive this person but i'm moving on okay um i'm not gonna let this break me down into nothing and this person is coming in with this healed healing energy new or old and they want to do the right thing they want to spend some time with you just you and them alone let's see okay they don't want to be left out in the cold they don't want to leave you out in the cold anymore that's sweet good okay this is like they've caused you a lot of struggle and they want to make something right here because the five of um sorry the five of pentacles is like that's my struggle love card okay that's like mental or physical health that is ill like ill health poverty they've caused you a lot of worry in the past they know it they know it here they've caused you a lot of anxiety and stress they realize that they participated in how can i say the stress that you were feeling mentally in this connection so when 
justice is here it's kind of like it's like doing the right thing okay coming finding a solution to try to make this thing work telling the truth as well and when you if you agree to be spending time with this person if it's a past person these are things that they're going to tell you it almost feels like a confession an admittance of their wrongdoing and how they made you feel and if it's a new person they will tell you what they went through and that will be it they may even admit that they caused their problems in their past relationship like a true confession or that that happened to them so the sun in reverse so this is just a basic energy of like This person is willing to wait. They're not seeking instant gratification, okay? They're willing to delay the gratification in order to have healing in this connection with you, okay? Um, there's a lot of waiting energy here with the sun in the reverse. This is like waiting for the sun to come up. They're not gonna push you. They're not gonna force you. They understand it's gonna take time. If you would have them back, it's going to take time to rebuild and have, you know, the sun at its peak. Okay. They're going to go slow with opening up, but they are going to go in that direction. It's just going to be a, um, you know, it's like sitting outside and, and watching the sun, while well, watching the sun go up or go down. It's just a matter of being patient in order to witness that. But this person is quite enthusiastic about it. And there will be a lot of communication during time that you are together alone, where there's like all this confession, all this truth coming out. It's like a real bonding kind of thing happening here. Now, for some of you, yeah, you could have somebody new coming in. You could have your past person coming in both in similar energy. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's, you know, at the end of the day, look, can things be fixed? Can they be healed? Yes. If both parties are willing, if one person is quote unquote treatment resistant, then no, <laughs> all the love in the world isn't going to fix somebody. People have to be responsive to that, right? So you could, you, you might not be, you might be treatment resistant. You might be the one who is still in this rebel energy you know where you're like no i don't want to fix it they could be coming back with all this can we fix this and you might just be like no it's too late or just no not right now so many news coming in and i want to see how things go with them because it's a hell of a lot easier to start with someone new than it is to start all over with someone old it, it, there's a lot it's harder to repair that those broken pieces because there's scars. So, you know, at the end of the day, Virgo, it's up to you what you want to do. I'm just transmuting messages here and telling you what I see coming in. Okay, time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. I feel like that's a really strong message for you. Getting a little distance, taking some time apart from your person at this time just to sort your stuff out because some of you are just kind of going in the opposite direction. You're rebelling a little and you're just like, I'm not... I'm not going to completely cut you off, but I know I'm not going to invest right now because I have to figure out what I'm doing and what I want. Okay. Children are important to this partnership. So there may be a child or children involved in this connection. Okay. That might be some of the clarity that needs to come. Do I want to start over with someone new who has children or do I want to go with someone new and try to have children with them? Or do I want to deal with someone from the past who I have children with or they have children you know it plays a role it could also be that the person you were de dealing with um, maybe time apart makes you see that this person was very childish in their behaviors towards you and that plays a role that's a factor it, it, I mean there's a reason why adults don't date children <laughs> let's see what else Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Okay. So Virgo, you got some stuff here. You got some friends maybe or a support group or people that just have your back, maybe family. Lean on them right now. These are your, this is your inner circle. This is not everybody on Facebook putting all your business out there. This is not you like 
knocking on your neighbor's door that you don't even know and telling them all your problems. This is like taking a couple of people who really support you, family or friends or whomever, that are willing to listen and not tell you what to do. Um, they just give a good listening ear for you to talk about your things. It could be someone like a counselor or someone, a mentor, just to try to get that support as you for some, consider whether or not to return to somebody, and for others, consider if you're ready or not to go with someone new, okay? So your message is to lean on the inner circle right now. Could be all of you guys here in the chat. Okay, retreat, time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Now that's retreat, retreat twice, okay? So it might be retreating within for, with yourself, getting distance to get clarity. And for some of you, it could just be retreating with this person, spending time with them to talk. You could also do both. To not only talk, but listen. I say all the time, talking is only one half of communication. The other half is listening as well. Okay, interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. So that means that there's a third party. There could be person, place, or a thing that factors in to this connection, that factors into a decision. Now for some, it is somebody from the past and somebody new coming in at the same time where you have a choice that you need to make. So some of you will need to be aware of that. Okay, fate, this is a destined partnership. Hmm. Which one is? Which one, the new or the old? One of them is finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Okay. Somehow that resonates for somebody. A money situation here, a financial situation also factors into a decision. Okay. But your, your answer right now here is to wait. The timing is not quite right. So you're not, you're not being asked to make any decisions right now. You just got to wait and see. I don't, not really sure why. Probably because you don't have enough information or you don't have all the facts um, to be able to make a, a, to be able to make a full on decision about if you're going to keep rebelling against someone from the past and open yourself up to somebody new, or if you're going to say no to the new person and try again with someone from your past, you know? Some of you are just like, oh, I'm just going to have to wait and see what happens. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep doing the things that I like to do and making myself happy. All right, your past person wishes things could be different. They couldn't let you get close to them in the past. And I feel like they're opening up now to you. Okay. I feel like the new person is faded. They're coming into your life for a reason. I'm not exactly sure why. I feel like there might be something that you need to experience with somebody new right now before you can make a decision about a past person coming back. You might see something with somebody new that gives you confirmation about how you feel about your past person. This new person might, might inspire you to leave and be done with a past relationship. Or this new person might inspire you to go back. I feel like you'll know when you know. But I feel like the past person was very closed off. They were very insecure. Um, they had a hard time opening up to you. But they are starting to understand this connection. And for some of you, it's like, it's just a little too late. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, you're on their mind 24-7. Even if it doesn't seem like it, and I know some of you have this jaw-dropping energy, like, what? For real? I thought they were done with me. I thought they weren't interested. No, 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 no. You've been on their mind. You, they've been seeing you in their dreams. They always think about you. All kinds of stuff reminds them of you. They love you unconditionally. They remember every detail of, I don't know, some particular day that you guys, maybe last day you saw each other, last time you talked. This person definitely wants you because you came closer to anyone. And that scared them, Virgo. As close, you got very close. They allowed you to get specifically close, closer than anybody else. And for some, they got scared and they pushed you away. And you said, F this, I'm out of here. This person is so attracted to you, but it was really hard for them to let you go. They wish that they had treated you better. They're definitely afraid to contact you again. 
because while well, the timing wasn't right, but I feel like they are going to try to contact you again. You're definitely going to get communication. This person does love you. They wish they could take back the things that they said to you. Yeah, it's a problem with that. They replay their conversations over and over. Not the good stuff. They replay the things that they said, wishing that maybe they should. You know, you know when you, somebody says something to you and then you respond and then later you like, oof, I should have said this instead. Or then you kind of ruminate over what would have been the better response and stuff like that. Um, or wish they could take those words back and say something else. They constantly go back over and over. They want to tell you how they feel. Their life, <laughs> listen, their life is not to as, as gather as it seems. And I feel like this person puts on kind of like a mask or a front to make it seem like they got their shit together. They show the whole world that everything with them is great or they don't show the whole world everything's great and they just give people the impression that, you know, everything is great with them, but it's all false. They're hiding. They're hiding. They've been hiding from themselves. And they let you in, and then they got afraid that if you got even closer, knew every little thing, you would break them down. Real, real tough. Not really your problem, though. Let's see. What are your moonology messages? Okay. You have a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. I think we have a new moon coming up. A Scorpio new moon. This feels very much like Virgo. It's time to give to yourself right now. And that's okay. You're allowed to do that. Mm, interesting. I said new moon in Scorpio. And we have full moon in Scorpio here. It's time to release negativity. So Virgo, some of you might have been involved with another Virgo or a Scorpio. But it feels like, so when the new moon comes, spend that time Set your intentions on giving to yourself and taking better care of yourself. When the full moon comes, um, set your intentions on releasing that negativity by exhaling, remember? Using that as a meditative practice. Um, you also have new moon in Gemini. Okay, so when we have, if, I don't know if we have a new moon in Gemini this month. I don't really know how that, I mean... I should know that stuff, but I just don't. But either way, with Gemini, communication is key. Geminis are communicators, very similar to you, Vir uh, Virgo, because you're both um, Mercury ruled. And it's all about communication, communication, talking about things. Okay, in order for this connection really to have any kind of workable solutions, there has to be communication. Communication of emotions, communication of needs being met. If you're going to go back to this person or you're going to accept them back, that has to be like right out there in the forefront. Because if somebody's clamming up, like you're not a freaking mind reader. Okay. If somebody's clamming up and not sharing, you can't, what are you going to spend? I mean, how much time have you spent with this person, Virgo, in the past guessing at what they want, what they need, because they couldn't express it to you. And then for some, they would punish you for not understanding what, not knowing, you know, like not being the ultimate mind reader. All right, let me see what your other messages are here. No contact. Okay, some of you are still in no contact or you are making the decision to go no contact. It could be from one person or two people or just in general. You're just kind of, you're not initiating. Some of you are just not initiating contact. You could be responding back, but I don't see you really initiating anything in November. I just feel like you're pulling your energy. Like I said, you're rebelling, but not, not in a negative way. You're just doing the opposite because a lot of you spent so much time conforming to somebody in order to make them happy. I mean, the pendulum is swinging a little bit in the opposite direction here. You know, it's a little bit off balance because you're either on one side giving too much or on the other side rebelling too much, not giving enough. I feel like you guys will get to a place where you'll get neutral, but I feel like 
you you're going from giving so much and you're swinging on the other side you're out of balance and now you're rebelling that's fine that's a process okay um healing is never linear so i do kind of feel like some of you are just going on the opposite end here and if that's what you need to do that's what you need to do eventually you will level out you'll you'll find that balance okay so here's your message take a risk what do you have to lose starting over can be tough but it's time to spread your wings don't overthink this okay taking a risk is the fool energy having fresh hope taking a chance discovering new paths and adventures and new beginnings so some of you do need to rebel some of you if you think about it too long you may start to feel guilty or feel bad and you may just not rebel and stay where you are in that conforming state and giving 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 some of you are rebelling but just completely doing the cutoff or you already have because you may just be needing to do that for yourself right now you may not trust yourself to not give in if this person reaches out to you so it's a, it's like a form of protection or if they reach out to you and start lulling you to sleep a little bit some of you are rebelling against that because you need clarity okay oh my gosh again with this twin soul twin flame stuff communicate your love to the divine be thankful for this twin soul love you've been chosen for one another even when times are tough and seem back and forth this love was meant to be and for some it is time for you to reconcile and i feel like yesterday was a reconciliation twin flame thing so you know you may get the communication this person may come back they keep trying to come back they're opening up more some of you are like oh my god i don't know if i can do this again you know, you got a lot on your plate, Virgo. You know, if you don't want them back, don't take them back. And go move on with your life. Keep it moving. If you do want to take them back, then, you know, you got a lot. There's a lot of work to be done here. But a lot of healing as well. Healing is never easy. It can be, it can be painful. Very much like when you cut your arm. The healing process takes time. It's got to heal from the inside out. okay direct honest female you could be that could be you being direct and honest with yourselves or some of you could be connecting with a direct honest female air element gemini aquarius or libra okay moving to a safe place all right this might be the retreat aspect so you could be moving or relocating or just getting yourself in a much safer place um it's kind of hard to be clear and know what path to take when you're in the middle of a battle zone. So some of you are just in this place where you're like, okay, let me just get out of the middle of this war zone first so I could be safe and then I could think of my next move. Okay? And that I feel like for a lot of you, that's what it's boiling down to. Um, some of you could have been in a very toxic situation and you had to like break free. You had to rebel and get out of that. So you could get your mind clear and figure out what you really want, how you can get your needs met, what you need to do going forward in your life. And you totally have the right to do that. You don't owe anybody anything. Okay, deeply loving male. So that could be you in that King of Cups energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, where it's all about the emotions right now. Um, or you could be connecting with a deeply loving male you know the uh, water element one is ruled by the emotions and the other is ruled by the intellect okay committed love relationship it's funny because that that came out yesterday this is what this is about are you ready is that what you want a committed love relationship not just committed in the sense of um, hey, we're exclusive and we're not going to see each other, but really having, and not so much of like committing to one another, but committing to the relationship that we will give it our best, whatever our best is, and we will continue to grow. You know, be thankful for the weaknesses because the more weaknesses you have, the more growth you will have. If you have no weaknesses, you're totally strong. You're never going to have any growth. 
you know like a bodybuilder can only get so so big <laughs> so the more weaker the more weaknesses you have the more holes you have the more growth you can fill the more soil you can fill in those holes to have more growth so it's a blessing to have those weaknesses let's see yep self take a look at yourself Add up the pros and the cons about yourself. Balance things out. Reconcile yourself to accepting yourself just as you are, as well as those people who are in your heart. Acceptance is the key, along with good communication. Don't beat yourself up if something's not working out right now or you're not sure, because you're not Supergirl, you're not Superman, right? You can't carry the whole world. Just live and let live right now as you figure out what is going on in your life and what you want, and where you're at. It's kind of like a self-assessment and like a little bit of an inventory. Just like if you had a business, you know, businesses just don't run willy-nilly. They ever they have to have inventory at least once a year. A little check-in. Check in with your feelings. Check in with your situation. How are things going? Talk to yourself. Talk to your partner. Where are we? Where do you think we are? I don't know. This is where I think I am. I'm not sure what, what's going on here. Mature, dynamic, fiery male. So some of you could be coming across as a leader. Um, you could be in a fire element at this time with maybe some rebelliousness. Some of you could be connecting with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, male or female. Okay, some of you are learning a new skill, and that learning a new skill could be on the job. It could be in a relationship. Okay, these could be emotional skills that are being learned. These could be uh, academic skills that you're learning or career skills. Okay, money in the bank. That showed up last time, remember? <laughs> All right. This is a. This is a. This is take. This is the money shot. What does that mean? The money shot. This is like ace in the hole. I don't know who's got an ace in a hole, or somebody you're gonna. Some of you might be getting some money in your bank very soon, like a good chunk of change. Might be just like one of those instant deposits. You might be waiting for that, or wondering where that's at. It's coming in November. Definitely going to have a, a nice big chunk of change and like a big fat bank account or your wallet's going to be filled up. Very good positive energy here. Let's see. Oh, girls night out or guys night out. So I definitely feel like that's going to be happening in November. If you get an invite to go out with some friends or a friend, go for it. Do it. Rebel, some of you have not been spending time with your friends or close or people that you enjoy spending time with. Some of you have been in hermit mode. You've just been sitting home Netflixing and, you know, watching or eating junk or just, you know, or just doing things, but doing things on your own. This message here is for you to get out there with some friends. I don't mean online chats. I mean, make plans, meet somewhere and have fun in the flesh. I know that you guys are gonna make comments in the chat about this, and I know specifically who's gonna make a comment about what I just said, and I'm going to ignore you. <laughs> or you know what, mods? If those guys say anything, you can put them in timeout. <laughs> but definitely getting out there, human to human contact. Okay, and stand your ground. Beautiful. Virgo, you're in a really good place in November, and you've got an old love, and you have new love coming in. I feel like the dilemma is going to be, who do you choose? Because your heart might still be with somebody else, but it's also, you're in transition. And isn't that the way it goes? As you're letting go of someone, as you're even if you've already let go of them, but they're getting out of your energy field, like energetically now you're releasing them, the thoughts aren't coming as much, you're pushing them away, or the feelings, you're healing. And as soon as you start feeling better and you wake up and you really start feeling hopeful, 
because you finally released, then that's when all the love comes back in. And it is cuffing season, so watch out. You're going to have past people coming back. You're going to have new people coming in. Nobody likes to be alone for the holidays. Okay. Endure and be patient. Wow, Virgo. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to endure this. <laughs> Virgo. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you got fear and anxiety. Yeah, be patient with yourself. You may have a little bit of fear going forward and a little bit of anxiety. Just breathe it out. Say, okay, I'm feeling this right now. It's not forever. Let me breathe it out. Good news about money. That's what I said. You guys are getting like some money in the bank. 100%. That's really awesome. Especially for the holidays. Some of you are just like, how am I going to get these kids these gifts? You know, how am I going to do it this year? How am I going to pay these debts? And the holidays are coming. How am I going to get through these holidays? Don't worry about it. Money will come. Money always comes. All right, let's see. What is your other advice here? Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you like this reading. I'm kind of like really happy with this reading. Okay, wow, Ace of Fire. An amazing opportunity is coming in for you, Virgo. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. This is being inspired. You're going to feel tremendously inspired. Like really happy. You're going to have some serious urges, even physical urges. Passion is on the table here. Oh, I feel like the holidays are going to be so much fun. There is somebody here. You're going to have like this, I feel like a honeymoon period with this person. I feel like that dopamine hit falling in love all over again. Oh, look, the Wheel of Fortune again. A fresh new start or the end of delays. <coughs> Sudden or unexpected progress. A very positive change is coming in your life in November, Virgo. There may be travel. For some of you, there might be a new car or a new vehicle. Beautiful. Let's see. What else? Or maybe you already got a new car. Oh, the page of fire. Oh, my goodness. News of exciting opportunities. Allowing your creativity to soar. Doing things that fuel your passions and finishing what you start. And you also have someone who's coming in extremely smitten with you. And they will be communicating this to you. Okay. Someone who is very active. They have a youthfulness about them. They may not be young, but there may be a youthfulness. Some of you can be spending time with a son, a young son. Okay? Could be a grandson. Very fiery, spitfire kind of person. Um, that will bring great joy to your heart. Or a young child, a boy. It may not be related to you, but it will bring fire to your heart passion you will feel like a child i just feel like this energy of feeling like a kid again you know like when you get out of school and you rush to the playground or um, lunch or something that that energy excitement enthusiasm okay but also enthusiastic exciting communication coming in for you in november let's see okay you have the five of cups Ooh. This is forgiveness of self, self or others. Oh, your message here is to look for the hidden blessings. There's some blessings. You're not counting your blessings, Virgo, or you haven't been. It's time to start waking up and counting your blessings. Start focusing on the good that you have and not the things that you don't have. Things may not be turning out the way you want them to, but they will turn out the way it, they're needed to. You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometime, you get what you need. Okay, two cards. Okay, beautiful. Awakening. 
What do we got? What do we got here? We have, so we have, so we do have some signs here. We have Scorpio and we have Pisces. Why do I feel like that was in the beginning? Did I say that in the beginning? Okay, so there's an awakening happening here. Right now there's a temporary pause for reflection and insight, but there is an awakening where someone begins seeing things in a whole new light. This is like, this is like being in a situation that you can't get out of currently. And you're like, things are kind of suspended in time. It's a waiting energy, but it's like, well, why are we, while we're waiting, rather than getting frustrated, let's try to make the best of this situation. It's like when you're stuck in a traffic jam, it can be very frustrating because the cars aren't moving. So what to do instead, put on your favorite music, listen to something that, you know, makes you feel better while you have to wait there's no this doesn't do you any good to be in a waiting position and to be miserable there you can't get out of it so make the best of it you or this person again endure and be patient things will start changing things are going to change it's a temporary pause use this as a time for inflection reflection and insight but there will be an awakening you will begin seeing things differently and somebody else will as well <clears throat> there's a huge transformation happening here with somebody it's a it, they call it a significant life experience that absolutely requires changes to be made in order for things to go forward powerful and often unexpected revelations are coming to you from somebody and are happening to another person breaking free of procrastination okay and releasing old belief systems Wow, this is so amazing. I feel like the holidays are just gonna be crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy good though. Virgo, if you're worried about being alone for the holidays, I just heard somebody has that on their mind. I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that. Because I do see a past situation reoccurring, but I also feel somebody new is coming in. Your biggest worry is probably going to be how to divvy up time with them or who to choose. You're very loyal, Virgo, but I feel like you like to do the right thing. Let's get some charms. And then we'll close out the reading. What did I? Okay, I'll just stick them there. We'll get some charms and we'll close out the reading. I love when we get the mix of the singles. I love when the singles pops in. And it's like, I don't usually pull out the singles while I'm doing it, like a past kind of reading, but I just felt called. Like it was like, because I felt that renewal and that hope happening here and the rebelliousness that some of you are just like, your hopes and wishes, somebody's coming in for you. All right, let's get your charms. the heck is that oh <laughs> oh my god if you guys could see hold on i gotta see if you guys now i'm gonna tell you what i think this looks like this looks like a cat with its with its butt sticking up in the air like back it up, back that butt up. I don't know what's going on there with some of you, but <laughs> we're gonna get candid here. I'm telling you, this is kind of like when you scratch the cat and his butt, their butt sticks up in the air. Maybe you're petting your cat and your cat's doing that right now. Um, I'm not gonna get dirty with this. I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna let you go there, but the butt is up in the air. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Um, okay, we have a swan. Beautiful. A swan. Wow, look at all this animal energy here. Okay, we have a, a whale tail. Wow. Oh my gosh. I just heard somebody like, Sh you have the most gorgeous tail I've ever seen. Back it up. Back that butt up here. 
<laughs> Back it up, right over here. <laughs> Back that truck up. <laughs> You're like as beautiful as a swan. That is the most gorgeous butt I've ever seen. I'm leaving that. I, I think I got like a little trickster angel here. <laughs> Aww. And a pure white heart. No, this is true love. This is true love, you guys. Purest, finest, most beautiful ass I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, now they're getting a little more serious. Okay, some of you are going to meet somebody on Twitter. Point blank, period. If you're on Twitter, you might be communicating. I said to some of you, you might be communicating with somebody online. I also feel royalty. Ooh. I heard royal dark. Maybe royal dark chocolate or royal dark. Somebody here is also of the Jewish religion or someone from Israel. Star of David. Definitely, uh, definitely around the holidays. Oh, yes. That's we three kings. Some of you might have three kings or three queens coming in, but it's oh, something around Christmas time. I don't care if you're Christian or not or you don't celebrate. I'm just giving you the dates. Just because just you don't celebrate doesn't mean the dates don't exist. Okay. Or Hanukkah or something around that time. All right, let's see. I'm going to get one more. They just said get one more. Okay. Well, there you go. That's how we're going to round it out. We have a tool. Some of you are going to look back on your past person. So I'm not going back to that tool. No way. That person's a tool. And for others, this is like, I don't know. This is a weird looking tool if I've ever seen one. It looks like a drill. And I'm just going to look. You guys, somebody wants to drill you. <laughs> Maybe you work with a drill or you're working with a drill right now or some kind of handheld or you got some kind of handheld vibrator. I don't know what's going on. You won't be needing that vibrator around the holidays. I can tell you that much. Um, maybe some of you, some of you guys are doing the stem. I don't know. My channel's totally going to get stri striked. Going to get strikes over here, up here in New York. They're going to strike me out, but who cares? So, yep. Something here. I guess that's a drill. I don't know. It's like a drill, but it's, it looks like a gun, like a drill. You hold one end, the back end, and then you hold the front end. I, I don't, listen, I don't work with tools. I don't date tools and I don't work with tools. This is kind of like, maybe it's a hammer gun. Maybe or somebody's getting hammered. Maybe you're getting hammered right now or hammer, are you gonna get hammered over the holidays in more ways than one. I'm leaving your reading there because we're, this, we're getting too candid. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoy that. I will be releasing the membership soon. Um, I'm just working on the emojis right now. And uh, I'm going to leave your reading here and I will see you tomorrow. I hope that this was helpful or that you at least enjoyed it. And for some of you, I hope this shit does not resonate. <laughs> I hope maybe tomorrow will be a little bit better. All right, you guys. Love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.